All right, everybody. I am back, and it's really good to be back. I am glad that AMD has released a new graphics card, which is uh, 6950 XT, and I got the Sapphire Toxic Limited Edition, which has a liquid cooling, an AIO with an three installed fans that you can already mount to your case, and uh, it, it has been really a good uh, product so far and uh, in this video I'm going to try to overclock it with you and show you what I discovered the changes to the to the previous model which is a 69 XT so let's head over to the performance tab and go to the tuning I've already set up my my personal profile and uh, feel free to follow it up if you have this uh, specific graphics card I'm not sure if other models have uh, same uh, parameters uh, capacity so uh, let's hope that uh, it goes well so I've been receiving some comments from the previous videos uh, about uh, uh, the, uh, about the windows crashing when you restart or when you shut down you get a notification saying that the IMT power has been restored Due to shut to due to the power uh, due to power problem, so it's resetting the profile, the overclocking. So I've came around some guides that helped me clear this issue, and I've been testing it. And uh, so far, even after long sh shutdowns, cold reboots, whatever, it's not resetting. It's not resetting our uh, settings. So I'm going first to show you how I did it. So in case first, head over to advanced, uh, view advanced system settings, search for it and click the startup and recovery settings. Usually this uh, auto automatically restart is enabled. You just have to disable it and press OK for system failure tick it off and press ok and also go to edit power plan power options and go to choose what the power buttons do and uh, make sure that the change settings that are currently unavailable is pressed so you can turn off the turn on fast start up it, it doesn't really do anything to to reduce your starts in my experience so I'm not sure what it really does I mean I've read some about uh, having your PC on hibernate state uh, etc it helps in that case but usually I don't use uh, hibernate so I just turned off uh, fast start up and just save your settings and just that it's it's very simple and even after doing so many so many restart and testing it's not been doing it anymore so even in my case even when your settings are right it's not your fault it's not the settings fault it's just because whenever amd watsman uh, detect anything that is uh, abnormal even if windows is causing it it uh, immediately restart your settings because it thinks something wrong with the overclock so it's more about uh, tuning uh, system also i've read that uh, disabling uh, zero rpm helps in this case so disable zero rpm uh, in order to keep your settings uh, fixed and anyway in case um, you really get a, a system failure it would still reset it so it was resetting it without a reason so anyway let's get back to our settings and first uh, as usual you turn on the fast uh, the GPU tuning in order to overclock it first it comes like this and just click on custom you get um, 
you get all settings that are t uh, are turned off you just enable gpu tuning you set advanced control i've set mine to 2800 for max frequency main frequency 2700 and voltage uh, 1150 um, you just get lower than the zins uh, you might get uh, stability issues so I don't really, really recommend it I've tried uh, running a 3d mark with uh, uh, 11 and 25 and uh, it crashed with uh, 11 50 it didn't so I, I assume it's uh, it's good then the good thing about the new RX uh, 609050 XT it, which is uh, the VRAM tuning has seen a significant increase in frequency and uh, uh, overclocking headroom so uh, in the previous model uh, this was usually 2000 um, at default uh, parameter and this one is as you can see 2240.80 so it's already an increase it's already seeing I've seen just by having this as three a three FPS a solid three FPS in any game anything I throw at it and I went further up to 2450 and uh, we could say that uh, I was able to keep it uh, for uh, 2475 and it didn't crash however um, I don't really usually recommend to to go to the limit I mean just leave a little bit of headroom to to ensure that you don't really get any problem in the future or in any case so I found that 2450 works very well and I also activated the memory timing to fast timing and also since this is a liquid cooled uh, GPU so you don't really need to care about uh, about temperature first I activated the power tuning and give it to 20% increase the previous model had has uh, 15 15 percent uh, more and I think I don't remember maybe negative 10 it was the same so but this one as you can see is 20 percent more so I really recommend uh, pushing get to the limit because even with with it, uh, uh, with it having uh, uh, a max power limit of uh, 400 as you can see wait a second so I can show you in real time now as you can see the GB, GBU PPT limit is set to uh, 332 as a default so when you when you give it a default it's like this it's by default uh, since I switched the, the graphics card to uh, to the performance BIOS so it did it automatically like this but however with this power tuning and having it to 20% more you get a solid 400 watts power consumption so in my opinion you really need a good power supply for it I changed mine from the Corsair RM 1000X this one gold a gold power supply this one in specifically to uh, be quiet dark power pro uh, 12 1200 uh, watts this one it's a titanium class and I think uh, having a, a graphics card with this uh, specifications 
it's really worse to have a an extreme power supply because first with the, with the titanium class you you are you are saving already some power consumption so having a graphics card at uh, 400 watts is really having a good power supply for this card will save power and uh, help helps it to to have its best uh, its best power so i just uh power tuning to 20 percent and the fan curve i disable zero rpm i hate zero rpm because i don't really find it necessarily since you already have a can uh, you, ha you already have a fans running in your case so the noise is really it won't really uh, change anyway uh, you are free to do it like uh, 70% uh, 75 is really okay it won't be audible anyway it's not really loud be, uh, at 75 but if you go like uh, 8% it gets loud and uh, so uh, etc so keep it 75 and you can also do the, the, the fan curve usually I do mine but uh, it's a personal it's a personal uh, setting so it depends on your environment uh, and your fans etc so I won't really do it I just give it 75 and apply you can save your profile in case anything happen in case you want to remember what happened uh, you can save it to your desktop, name it whatever you want. Rx XT overclock. Okay. And to import it, you just have to load the profile and it will load. So, anyway, that's a profile. Now I'll show you guys. The, the the benchmark the results that i got and i really hope that uh, you like it and found this video to be useful please leave leave your comments your feedback i'm really hoping to see uh, your opinions about uh, my content my humble content and i would really like to improve it so see you guys next time and please subscribe like if you enjoy my content See you next time.